Hi, my name is Nathan Johnston and I am an Iron Man. Like most people, I have a beautiful family. I am an active member of the local community and I have a passion for sport. I have finished many full marathons, running one of them with a former Prime Minister. You know, this guy, he's just a machine. I have competed in over 15 triathlons in Australia. I was even awarded a position in the World Ironman Championships in Hawaii. This Ironman competition is the ultimate goal for any athlete. So at this point in my story, I should just tell you that I'm nearly 100% blind. So when Nath was born, he um, was the second of my three children. When Nath started school, um, he had some issues with his vision and he was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. There was a, uh, a broader uh, name given to a syndrome and that syndrome was called bardet beetle syndrome. Very, very rare, especially in Australia. Only a few people in the country had it in those days. Um, now at the time that was devastating for us because the outcome would be that he would eventually go blind. We just didn't know when and it was hoped that it would be in his sort of 50s. Um, unfortunately, he was one of the small percentage of children whose vision was gone by the time he was 15. So the training for Ironman distance racing is on a day-to-day -day level where I put trust in my, all my guides that help me train. So during a run, I'm tethered to my guide. They tell me about every bump in the road or every trip hazard in the road, and they keep their eyes on the ground and other surrounding parts so I don't have a fall. Uh, balance is a big thing which comes in on the bike because if you're not balanced right, the bike gets out of whack on the road and wobbles all over the place. So my pool routine most weeks for on man training is a local pool which is a couple of streets from my, from my home which I can walk to with my cane and I can get myself to the edge of the pool where someone will tell me which lane to swim in and then I can do as many laps as I want swimming up and back. Everyone has role models and I'm highly motivated by these people to reappear, Sean Crowley and Kurt Fernley. So when I finished my third Ironman, which was Melbourne, Asia Pacific Championships, a process happened after that race to grant me the invitation to go and race in the world's biggest and most iconic Ironman event in the world. So the distances for the Ironman events are the 3.8 kilometre swim, the 180 kilometre cycle, and the 42 kilometre run. So of the 2,400 competitors which started the race, only 2,000 finished and I was one of those competitors. I have just finished a race which most people with vision wouldn't be able to complete. So here we were sitting on the sidelines going, oh my God, this is our son and look what he's doing. Came to a point there where Nathan proved to us and his friends and the whole world that anybody could do anything or anything could be done. I wouldn't be sitting here telling my story today if it wasn't for one person, Glenn Gorick, which is my guide my friend, my manager, and a mate. Is this the life which my family planned out for me? Probably not, as a young man growing up with a sight impairment or disability. But I'm gonna make the most of any opportunity which I get. So it's not the end of the world. Any people, any types of disabilities or impairments can do anything if they put their mind to it. So I might not be able to see what's in front of me, but I'll have a clear vision for the future.